Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Feelers. And last week I did a copy that Thursday and several of you told me that you wanted me to do more. So today I'm going to do a TV network with Copy That Thursday. And best of all, just like last time, it will be a vector graphic and you can do this in Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer. And you can export it as SVG or EPS and it could be sized as large or as small as you like without losing resolution. So let's get started. So I pulled in this NBC logo. I am going to duplicate it. Control or Command J. So now I have two. I'll bring one over here. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly, I hope, because <laughs> I think this one's pretty easy. I want to bring out a guideline. So now I am going to rotate this. I want one of these tail feathers to be straight up and down. So I'm just going to kind of do this with the red and see if I can get it as close as I can. Let me get closer. I'm doing Command or Control Plus to get closer. And then my space bar. And I'm, I'm moving my mouse to move around. And I'm trying to get this to be as straight as can be. And that looks pretty good right there. See how the line is going through it? So now we can get rid of the guideline. And let's go back. So now I'll go to Shape Tool and I'll look for Teardrop. I think it's called, there it is. And I am going to just make any teardrop and I will flip this, arrange, uh, flip, flip vertical. There we go. So I'm going to drag this over here and I'm going to enlarge it. And basically I am playing here just to see how close I can get it to the original. And that's pretty close. I mean, it's tiny bit, maybe, let's see, maybe there. It could also be because it's not rotated completely, right? And if I lower the opacity, I could see that the one underneath is thinner. So let's keep that like that. And now when you have a curves, I'm sorry, when you have shapes, there's things up on top. So for example, right here it says curve. See how I'm narrowing the curve? I'll show you that here. Let me just control or command J so you might not be able to see it. But while I was pushing curves, look what's happening. It's that way and that way, see? So I'll delete that one. So now this looks really, really good. I like this a lot. Bring you back to the full screen and I will take this here and I want to duplicate it. I want to keep duplicating it. I don't want to use the same one. So now we'll get a close up. And I want you, the point of this to meet the point here. So let me get even a little closer and I'll go like that. You see where this point meets and you see the dot here. If you don't see that, uh, it's the, tra the origin you can, if you don't see that, just click this box here and I am going to move. I have snapping on, so I am going to move this right to that point. And then when I rotate it, it rotates from that point. So that looks pretty good. So let's go back a little. And now I'm going to take the next one. I'm going to duplicate it and do the same exact thing. Get a close-up. Oops, wrong thing, sorry. Get a close-up. And make sure the points are where they need to be. And then I'll go back a little. Control or Command minus. And now I will move this to that point And rotate it again. Okay. Now, if you... Each one might not be exactly the same because some are longer than others. So now again, you should lower the opacity to see. And actually, they look pretty good. I might want to move that one up, a, oops, down a little and this up a little like that. But I think that works out nice. So that's two. Let's bring back the opacity there. All the purple, the new ones. Let's go from there. This one could have gone up a little bit. This first one. 
I'm going to hit my arrow and move this up slightly. Oops, there we go. And I think actually I'm going to turn snapping off because I want to play with this slowly. Like that. That's close. So maybe I will just duplicate this one instead of keeping the original. Let's see, because now if I move that, move it to the point, and we should be able, since I took that one, it already has the uh, center point right at the bottom. And let's see how we, close we can get here. They're not all the same size, the original that NBC created. So I can move that down and up a little and a little bit out like that. And that's pretty good too. If I take these, this one, Arrange, transform, where's my transform, sorry. I'm sorry, flip horizontally, whoops. First I have to duplicate it, control or command J, and then arrange, flip horizontally, and it should match if MVC did it right, and very close. Again, I'm a little bit off here, and I can bring it out a little if I want, you know, but I'm trying to do a fast tutorial you should spend more time, like I always tell you. And so that's good. And now let's take this one, duplicate it, control or command J, and then arrange, flip horizontally. And we're good there. And then this top one, control or command J, arrange, flip horizontally. And that should be right there. And if I lower the intensity, uh, I'm sorry, the opacity, you want to see where the groove is. These are now shapes. I'm going to convert them all to curves, but right now I'll do this one. So I'll convert that to a curve and I'll go to the node tool. If you don't see it, it's under the pen tool. And I'm going to put a node right here. I have to add one, say here, and I'll move that one in. And then I'll add another one and I'll move that one here and now we got to get and then I'm going to add another one and move that one here now we got to get a close-up to see if we can match these up let's see where the nodes are so right here I'm going to change that to convert these to a corner I'm going to convert all these to corners actually see on top convert to a corner and here too, I'm going to convert that to a corner. So let's get real close. So now we're on the node tool. And now what I have to do is bring this, sorry, bring this, if I bring this handle out a little bit like that, that should be good. This one I'm going to move in. But if I hold the option key here or the alt on uh, PC on Windows, it only moves this side so that's where we want to go and this one we want to drag out a little bit and this one we actually want to move this one up kind of like that like a little bit of a curve here i think and maybe a little bit out here like this move that back move this like that and i think we might be close enough so let's bring the opacity back and go back and we are pretty close there I could go up a little bit like that and I could move once again this could be this should be a straighter and you can play and play until you feel you've got it right and I think that's it's pretty close for this tutorial anyway. So I'm going to take each one and I'm going to convert it to curves because I, I'm, I prefer curves for vector graphics. Even though shapes are vector, I think curves are much more compatible with other programs like Photoshop and anybody who's using EPS or SVG. So I'm turning everything to curves. I'm not sure I have to. But it's good, for me, it's a good thing to do. And I'm going to drag over to this yellow. 
and then click it. Then I'm going to the next one. And up here, I will say convert to curves. And then I'll get the color, drag it over to orange. And I'm just going to repeat this. The last copy that Thursday, I made a mistake. In the video, I said I'd search YouTube to find out what font Domino's Pizza used. I didn't search YouTube, I searched Google. So this time I also Googled NBC. It uses a font called Cable Demi, Cabell Demi, K A B E L D E M I. And I didn't want to pay for the font, so. You can use a similar font and work it around, and that's what I'm going to show you again. So I'm typing out NBC, and a similar font that I found on my computer is called Tray Bucket. T-R-E, Tray Bucket, Tray Bucket, I don't know. And I like that the bottom had a point. I'm going to use this one. See this point here? I kind of like that. So I'm going to try and get this bigger and close. The B is very similar, unless it's, maybe we use bold, I don't know. Let's try bold. I'm doing, okay, I'm using tray bucket bold. Okay, so just get them to where you think they need to be. And we went through this in the last tutorial, and I'm going to do it again. I am going to right click, no, I'm sorry, wrong. I am going to take this NBC and I am going to convert it to curves up on top so it is no longer text. Now each letter is separate, see? So the first thing I'm going to work on is this N because this N needs to be pointy. So I am going to go to the Node tool. Now before I go to the Node tool, I'm going to drag this N to fit right there. Just like that. Going to move this up, and that looks about right. Let's try for that because I'm trying to keep this end right here. And so I'm going to leave the end like that, and I will lower the opacity a little bit. And now I'm going to the node tool, and I am going to take this node and bring it up here and move this node right here and take these two and bring them up and then this one I might just delete it and just keep this a little lower and that's pretty close I mean I could take it you can if you want you could take I'll show you on this one but if you want where's my end I just lost it there we go you could take these and and grab them and right click, I mean, use the right arrow key and get them closer. And then you can move this one down again, just a tiny bit to match it, but that's close. Now I'm, I'm not gonna go as easy, to, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna go as detailed with the others. I'll just do them really quick and not perfect because I want to get this tutorial done. I don't want it to bore you and make it last too long. So let's delete this. I don't need this one. And these the, the three that I just created, if I bring the opacity back up here, I'm going to take all three of these. You could do them individually, but I'm going to take all three now. I am going to, I think it's a range, no layer, geometry, and add. So what that means is when you add something, they're no longer separate. I can't add all of these because they're different colors. Each add has to be the same color. Right now, see it's no longer a group. I can move that NBC up here and get rid of this group. And I can get rid of this NBC because I no longer need it. And now here's the best part because I could take the all of these, group them. This is all vector right now. 
And what I forgot to do is take the NBC and make it black. So what do you think? It's all vector graphics. And no matter how large, everything is still clean. Or how small, everything is still clean. I hope you liked this tutorial and found it useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe. Please know that I appreciate everyone who hit that subscribe button because it helps me with YouTube and YouTube recommends me more so more people can see my videos. So thanks again and have a great day.